Facts and Law, episode five. We back with another yeah. one. What's up, bro? Chilling, man. You know what I'm saying? Feeling good, baby. You know what I'm saying? We got we got a couple couple guests. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yes, sir, Y'all excuse them. They, they got the little nervous look yeah. on their face. Yeah. You know yeah. Yeah. I know. Like, yeah. 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 I know. I'm trying to hey. Yeah. 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 Woosah. Relax. Yeah. Yeah. Relax. Yeah, you know, we gonna be chilling, baby. Shake it off. Shake it off. Yeah. Shake it like a bullet right thing. <laughs> <laughs> Shake it. All right. Intro- yeah, I'm going to let you go first. Introduce yeah, yourself. Ahead, you know what I'm Okay. Well, my name is John. Um, <laughs> John. I'm from Chicago. John from <laughs> Chicago. What's up? What's up? From Chicago, Illinois. Uh, I'm from the South Side. Oh, originally. Figures. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I'm from the South Side originally, but we moved out west when I was like in fifth grade. So oh, I grew okay. Up out west. okay. Oh, um, but yeah, I'm, uh, I've always been a dancer, hip hop dancer. Like that's been my whole life, just dancing. And writing poetry and songs and stuff like that. So lately, right now, as of currently, right now I'm in school for um, sound design. Um, Work? Yeah. What you mean, sound design? Um, it's just like making like you know how when you watch movies and you hear all the like the horses and things like that. Those That's sounds true. are actually Man, created from something. It's not actual horses. Yeah. So it's actually created from something. So that's what I'm in school for right now. You know you're um, a filmmakers, right? This is what we do. Yes. You might get a job, baby. Sound is, and that's what I'm on. That's what I'm on. Sorry, you know what I'm saying? But um, I like that. so I'm in school for sound design. Um, I write poetry. Uh, I've been making a lot of beats and stuff lately because I'm trying to do like scores and stuff for movies and Let's stuff go. like we were just talking about. Um, yeah, so right now I'm just artistic. I got my fingers in so, uh, photography, photography. other things. Like I just wow. do a lot of. Hey, <laughs> I just do a lot of We're gonna put you to work. Right. Baby. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm yeah. So yeah, that's that's me. Next. Oh no, I next. Come on, bro. Got to be as good. It's who you are. No, 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 before I introduce introduce myself, myself, I want to shout out my girl. Y'all check out Crowns by K. K Brand, you know she got her uh, her podcast. She got a podcast. Wait, time out. Wait, when I first heard, when I first heard, y'all go check that out. Wait, 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 wait. So she got a podcast. Podcast. What's the name of it again? When I first heard. When I first heard. Where can we? Ooh, I like that. Where can we check that out? Spotify. That's it, right? Spotify. And Anchor. Audio. Okay. Okay. Audio. Let's get it. She 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 make for doors too. Come on now. Women, men, all that. So you know what I'm saying. So y'all on the map. Black business. Virgo. August Virgo. Virgo. Well, shout out to August Virgo. You might be a Virgo. Well, yeah. So I'm Ro. Um, I'm from Oak Park. I don't know. Word from from the OP. Yeah. <laughs> Oak Park Boozy. Yeah. You think so? <laughs> yeah. I mean, we kind of. I mean, that's still see, people from the always, west side, no, the Austin but, community. Uh, people always think it's just white people. That's, it's oh, I know mixed. it's mixed. It's so mixed. Because you mixed. got like yeah, the Austin like, kids you know. from Austin and all mm-hmm. that. Yeah, we used so, to come over no, here and steal bikes. Yeah, I say that all right. Well, no, that's, 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 that's pretty much, much it. Huh? Yeah, I mean. You answered some things. You just can't tell us what So what you do, bro? Tell us. Oh, I work at DHL Express. Yeah. Ooh. What that mean? What that mean? What that mean? Yeah, please, please. About two weeks ago. Yeah. Maybe three. Yeah. I ordered some shoes off GOAT, right? Mm. You remember this, bro? I mm. you know what I'm saying? Look, I ordered some shoes off GOAT, y'all. And you know, I don't know if y'all know or not, when you order something from DHL, they take oh, a picture sorry. when they deliver your shit, right? Yeah, yeah. So they did, they sent me a picture of some other person's house. It's not about delivered. I'm like, nigga, who lives there? That ain't my shit. Yeah, yeah sometimes, sometimes, we, sometimes they might. You know what I'm saying? Speak. Because the address. Look. Numbers. <laughs> like, like, no, I fucked hey, up. Tell I what fucked you did. What did you do though? Like, so wait, listen, listen, listen. So I'm hot. I've been waiting on these shoes all day, right? I'm looking on the on the goddamn phone. I'm like, delivered. I go upstairs. I got a camera. I sit in front of the window all day working. Like, ain't nobody came to my house. Wow. I look at the picture. Yeah. This is not my home. I went and walked. I didn't even go to think to get in my car and drive block to block. Yeah. I hit four blocks, five blocks around my crib until I found that house. 
Wow. Yeah. Damn. I got my shoes. He was on that mix. Y'all seen the y'all look at the on that So them joints I had on, that's the suit. That's the suit right there. Yeah. He was on that I was like, hey, listen, hell yeah, yeah on goat. You paying over box at goat. You better yeah. get them up. Yeah. 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 Extra yeah. extra thirty if you want them. Oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah. uh, yeah. goat. Yeah. 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 I know nothing about that. Send them to me now. No, you don't know about goat. No, no, no. What about stock? Stock X. Stock X. I know about. But no, listen, listen to me. Hey. Order your shoes off GOAT. Nah, for real. <laughs> and you can return them. You can return them. Hey, stock oh, X you can return your shoes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Stock X, you cannot return your shoes. And they order might your be shoes off GOAT. And that's what I'd be scared of. That's why I don't order shoes and stuff online because people be shy. But be, see, them, that's GOAT. And I have trusted like shoes, so I don't really GOAT is like a, a, a site that verifies them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and so, I think yeah. Nike got a little... Some kind some, of... Something going on, GOAT. too. Yeah. Okay. No, they collab with GOAT. Oh, really? Oh, so, that's dope. Okay. Sure, so. Y'all just put me on sneaker vibes. Yeah, come on, we got that. Right. Uh-oh. Let's go. Let's go. What we here for? We just trying to chop it up. Listen, <laughs> listen, man. Okay, so we're here. Hey, touchy subject. Touch, touchy subject for you guys out there. Very. But we're going there. Okay. We have a gay male. <laughs> what you laughing at? <laughs> 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 Probably the way you said it. Hey, So, what should I say? It's all right, brother. You, you said yeah, it. No, no, finish. Go no, ahead. No, go no, ahead. no, no, no. no, no, no. no, no. Have, it wasn't disrespectful. We have a gay female. Okay? Okay. What would you rather me say? I mean, it, it don't matter. Right. No, no, no. It, no, it, it, it don't matter Listen, to me. We're here to act. Look, look. To be educated. We Yeah, exactly. We're here to be educated and to understand. Yeah. And you know what I'm saying, what is the proper way to address. to address? Yeah. I don't get offended when you all say this is a gay male because that's how you all internalize it. Okay. Mm-hmm. I'm gay. Okay. I see myself as John. That's how I see me. So So it don't bother me when y'all say, Oh, this is a gay dude, this is a gay man, this is not a gay So dude. I didn't say gay dude. No, no, I you think didn't. gay you dude didn't. is. You didn't. We didn't. Know, my bad. But yeah, go ahead. We know you as John, but in the, right. in, the in this setting yeah. we want to introduce people to you know what we talking about exactly what makes you more than john that you know what i'm saying what's what, what are we talking about you know oh. what i'm saying so you, if you want to be <clears throat> so a gay male, a gay male yeah and, that's fine because everybody can understand that i don't yeah. want to get too deep on people because i can do that sometimes so like what if i would have said like homosexual that would have been kind of offensive. that would have been offensive right yeah, yeah that been so that's what i'm saying so yeah. i'm like why is what's is that just it's the terminology for me. Yeah. What do you mean? Like like the way you say it and how it comes off, all oh, this homosexual male. Like, yeah. Well, what? I thought I thought like, homosexual was a proper way of, of saying it. That's I thought the homo of it, yeah. was okay. the offensive term. Ho- I thought homo was the offensive term. <laughs> yeah, short like, homo is. Yeah. No homo. <laughs> but, but even when you say that, I don't even get offended. No homo. Do you get offended by that when people say no, no homo? homo? No, I don't. That shit funny as hell. It is. No I'd be like, what? Okay. What about? I wouldn't even what about you, you hear people say? Wait, which one? I was gonna say y'all because I mean, yeah, like, go ahead, go ahead. some shit do be like, like homo. So you gotta be like, no, no homo. <laughs> like even like, yeah. I hear gay people say no homo. <laughs> Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. Because yes. I do that to my straight friends. Yeah, I don't say yeah, it like so. if I say That's something, I feel hilarious. like if I say something, I feel like it came out gay. I'd be like, no homo. <laughs> I say that. <laughs> what do you? What, what do my you straight feel, male friends. Uh, do to. What do you feel when you hear somebody say dyke? Now, yeah, That's I take, I, yeah, I take offense to that. I take offense really? to that. I'm not even yeah. like, yeah, really, yeah, I, I, yeah. Because that's 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 like that's like black. This like um. Right on the tip of my tongue. What? The word? It's insulting. Mm. It is. It's very insulting. It is. Like when somebody like What's the equivalent word on a male on a gay male's uh um, I was faggot. Yeah, faggot. Okay. Okay. Yes. So because yeah. because be, when I knew what was going on with me, I never saw anything wrong with it. But when I started hearing faggot, gay, homo, you mm-hmm. you fucking sissy, shit like that, that's when it started making me get these negative ideas about myself mm-hmm. and who I am. Like mm-hmm. that's yeah. like that's what turned the whole thing <laughs> internal for me. Cause when I was doing it, I didn't see nothing wrong with it. Like this is just who, a part of who I am. Right. You know what I'm saying? This is what I'm doing. This is how I'm moving. This is what I'm. Right, this right. is who I'm with. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But when I started hearing faggot, sissy, homo, gay, all of that, it just like. Fuck me up mentally. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. would you say myself? Is that equivalent? Would you say you felt those um, 
like the negative part of it, like hearing shit like nigger and you know, yeah, yes, yeah, it's yeah, very yeah, associated yeah. with that. Yeah. Okay. It's, it's okay. very much so associated with that. Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. So, Ro, <laughs> when was the first time that you had that feeling? Like, I like, Ooh. I like females. <clears throat> That's deep. Uh, I had to have been like first grade. Yeah. Wait a minute. I yeah. was at. Um, How old was you? Dude, I don't even know. What's first, What's first, grade? First, grade? Six, first grade, six, seven, six. Seven? six? Really? Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, at um, at Circle Rock okay. Preparatory School, right there on Central. And uh, Central and what? What's that? I think it's what Central and Jacks. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Jackson. Yeah, yeah. And what I can just remember um. Thanks, sir. Shit, me and these girls, like, you know the desk we used to have mm-hmm. to where you can, you know, you got your books underneath. Mm-hmm. I don't know how it happened. I don't know. I just don't know. Mm-hmm. But I know, shit, our desk like this, motherfuckers just... You touch, speak, you speak touching on each other. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, you're young, I, you're but but see, no, 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 look, look. Oh my God. But when you that young, sexuality, you, look, you don't know. Let's, you know what I'm, I'm saying? Gonna you, yeah. I'm going to tell you, so... No, that happens. No, no, I was going to say, no, 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 I got no, the go same kind of story. I remember being in kindergarten and not really knowing why, but looking, looking underneath, yeah, yeah, yeah. Skirt, yeah. 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 Or, or my homie, when in first grade, sitting next to me, put my hand on her knee. Yeah, you feel me? Yeah, like, okay. you know what I'm yeah. saying? So, if I feel like if it's anything like that for you, <laughs> like it was for me, I, yeah. I just knew I like that shit. Yeah, so, I mean... You know what I'm saying? I I felt like it was bad, but it was just I mean, I, something that it just continued and to happen. Shit. I felt like I felt like yeah, it was bad. Like if I get caught, we're gonna be in trouble. Well, yeah, yeah that but too. I didn't know. That you know, too. obviously, I didn't think. I don't think I was doing nothing morally wrong. If that makes okay. sense. Yeah, that makes you know, sense. I wasn't thinking yeah. on a moral right, aspect right, right, of right, right. it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, shorty, but yeah. I didn't yeah. think. You know what I'm saying? That I was doing something taboo, so to speak. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> right. So, no, I get it. So being, what, first grade for you? Yeah. At what point did you realize, like, like this what it is? Did you, did you like, have boyfriends at a certain point? Yeah. You know what that I'm saying? That I did. Um, and even still was kind of like, oh, mm. I don't like it. Mm. Right. But well. <laughs> to save face and, you know, being black, like, it's against. Mm-hmm. Our the culture. culture. Did you go up going, going, like in church and shit? <clears throat> yes, okay. very much so. I did too. So how did that affect like? And, and I want to kind of skip over you because no, no, no. Go I want to get to that same question. Yeah, we're going. Yeah. Go ahead. You go ahead. Shorty, I'm sorry. But, like as far as you growing up in the church, how did mm-hmm. how did that how did that affect you? You know, I feel like people knew, okay. but you know they don't want Say to. Nothing. Yeah. Or they want you to talk. Accepted or anything mm. like that. Yeah, well, yeah, it's, especially it's just, religious. It's just a phase, phase and shit like that. Wait, 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 wait. So, <laughs> I'm sorry. No, so, you talking about, uh, like, people, at what age, though, people knew that you were having, like, feelings towards the, uh, yeah, other, other I, girls? I think my family probably knew because I was into sports and you shit was like that. Boys. Right. Okay. But they just probably thought I was just into sports. Mm-hmm. But it wasn't until... 17, 18, where I, I accepted it myself mm. to say, fuck what everybody else mm. is talking about and what they feel. I'm going to live my life for me. You did. So, so, with that being said, um, knowing that at that point you were like, yo, this is what it is, yeah. gravitating towards sports, was that... <clears throat> do you know why you gravitated towards sports? Uh, was it, no, was it I like, just... You know, I just love being active, being competitive. Mm-hmm. I think that's just in me because that's how my dad is. So that's just natural for me. Mm-hmm. I think even if I was into guys, like I would still want be. to be in sports because yes. I, I just yeah. love watching sports. Yeah, and stuff like that. shit yeah. is fun. Yeah, and I, and I always <laughs> just wondered that because you know it's a stereotype. Like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. It's like is it something that is it a like a masculine? type mm-hmm. energy you think mm-hmm. that pushes you towards sports mm-hmm. you know what mm-hmm. I mean or you know just wondering how that correlates with sometimes being uh, being a, a lesbian female you know what I'm saying so, yeah I mean I think it can kind of go both ways cause look at Serena she's a fucking dog yeah. she yeah. fuck with niggas yeah. right. Right. you know what I'm saying she fuck with niggas but 
I mean, but... I like what you did. Give me power, no. That was a good one. That was a good one. Yeah, Nah, but for real. Gang, gang. Gang, gang. So, Hell no. on the flip side, <laughs> the flip side, John, with you, how young were you when you realized this is what it was? Uh, I was at least six. Word? Right. Wait a minute, no. wait, this is blowing my mind a little bit. Because I'm, I, it's kind of crazy. This is blowing my mind, it's because I it's felt like, it. Yeah. I felt it because, this sounds so vain. Hey, say but, what you gotta say, bro. <laughs> I felt it because I never wanted to be around the ugly boys in my class. Hmm. And it's weird because, like, growing up, I was always um, in and out of the households. Like, we stayed with my mom, they would stay with my grandma. Mm. My mom was very verbally and uh, physically abusive, so we used to live with my grandma, so I was going back and forth. So, a lot of times, like, I was sleeping around with my cousins and stuff like that. It started, like, in in the family, mm-hmm. like that's when I really knew. Wait, wait, wait. wait. So it sexually, it. sexually. At first, mm-hmm. I knew when I was six, but like when it started actually becoming intercourse, it was like with family members when I was oh. young. So wait a minute, you really go here? <clears throat> you cool uh, yeah, going I'm, there? I'm, I'm fine. I'm good. <laughs> all right, okay, I'm all good. Right, all right. So basically, so you were being sexually molested. No, just sexual activity was happening. Like with, with my cousins. cousins. Yes. Okay. And, and that was around six? No, that's when I knew. So uh, but I want to say when I was like maybe 12, 13, that's when all the like... The shit was happening. The sexual yeah. stuff started happening. So wait, so, but that's what I'm saying. So you... I always knew. knew. You knew, right. Before I always you, knew. And then just act, act, acting on it yes. was within the family. Yes. And then after that, when I started looking at it like... Something is wrong with this. Like I shouldn't be doing this with my cousins, and like, mm-hmm. like, sh- like this, it shouldn't be happening. So that's when I started like venturing out, like dating niggas, dating older niggas, like just trying to find myself basically, because I never understood why I was gay. Mm-hmm. Because mm-hmm. I never really had a relationship with my dad because he was always in the streets. He was on drugs and shit. He was in and out of jail. He was never really there. And it was just me and my mom. I grew up in a house full of women. So, of course, I have feminine ways. When, people, when I talk to people, like, damn, nigga, I didn't know you was gay until you start talking to me. So, <laughs> <laughs> so with, with that being said, do you think um, growing up in a house with women, your pops really not being there, kind of in, kind of influenced your Curiosity. What, the things that you liked? You know what I'm saying? Seeing what, what was around you? I used to think that. Mm-hmm. But then I realized, like, it's just a part of who I am. Yeah. I couldn't, like, at that point, I couldn't just say, oh, my daddy wasn't there. I didn't have a relationship with my daddy, so that's why I'm out here doing what I'm doing with these niggas. It's not, it wasn't that. That never, that never set well with me. It never made sense to me to blame him, his absence, for who I am. Right. So I just kept, like, trying to search and trying to, find myself, find out who I am, find out why I like niggas, like why am I attracted to this man, why do I want to be in love with this man you know what I'm saying, because it's some, clearly it's something I'm missing, I don't know what it is I'm missing, but it's something that's missing, because I never wanted a, I never wanted a woman now mind you, I've had I've had I've had had sex with women, I've had had females I was dating, I dated a girl for like three years me and her was together. We was doing what we do, did but she, it was never a connection. John, did she, did she know? No, because I wasn't doing anything when I was with her. Okay. Like when I was, how I wasn't fucking like, with her. How old were you? In I was seventeen. Okay. This was from oh, okay. this was from freshman year to junior year. Okay. When me and her was together, so I wasn't messing with no niggas then. Like it was just me and her. But after that, I never, I never felt a connection, and I never wanted a relationship like the one my mother had with my dad. I never wanted a woman I was going to have to put my hands on because my mama was ruthless. Like, she used to fuck my daddy up. But I never wanted that because I already knew where it was going to put me in fucking jail because you're not going to be putting your hands on me. Especially as a woman. Like, for me, even though I'm gay, I love everything about being a man. So you're not going to take that from me. You know what I'm saying? You're not going to treat me or try to try to make me seem like some little bitch or something. 
I'm, I'm not going to do that. So, I don't want to get off the tangent. No, no, no. You good. <laughs> you good. But, um, but, yeah, I never wanted to blame my dad for me finding out who I am. His and, absence. Because and, and even I, now, me and my dad don't have the greatest relationship. I call him, I check on him and stuff, but we don't have the greatest relationship. And so that's my thing. I don't want to say blaming him, but I mean just this fact of his absence or, you know, just being surrounded by that male, female-dominated yes. society. It was very female-dominated. Do you feel like as a young boy being five, six, three, whatever, you mm-hmm. know what I'm saying, those are the things that you saw as attractive or what made you kind of gravitate towards seeing that sort of thing? Do you think that play played into it? Kind of. You know what I'm saying? I see what you're saying. It's like, what I was else around, would you know? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Because what I else? wasn't... Because when we were younger, and my mom, like, we, when we was going through DCFS and all that shit, okay. we all lived together. And, one, and two of my oldest cousins was gangbangers. One of them was a foe, and the other one was a GD. <laughs> I knew you were to say something. <laughs> and one of them was a foe, yeah, the other yeah, one yeah. was a GD. But my GD cousin was the one that was like... He knew who I was, but he didn't give a fuck and he still rolled with me. He still mm-hmm. fucked with me. He used to take me everywhere with him. Yeah. He used to try to teach me everything, but he got murdered when I was 13. Yeah. So was for, so when that happened to him, I'm like, damn. This was the only male. Take the time, Sorry, bro. Man. Yeah. Sorry, hey, man. listen. It's back to my podcast, bro. We yeah. ask the tough questions. Discuss the, discuss the tough answers. You know what I'm saying? Sorry. Take your time, it's bro. Right, take your time. Good, y'all. Well, let's put some in your your cup. Sorry, man. He was you want something? You want something to drink? Yeah. He was the only one that accepted you. Yes. For you. And for who I was, he didn't treat me different. He didn't he didn't say like gay jokes and shit about me like my other cousin used to do. He just he was there, even when I was young, like. Sorry. No, you're good, bro. It's good, it's, man. This yeah, is, hey, yeah. This is let why let we're it here out. So we wanna let just get, out. you know, get these. Like these are questions. I'll be honest. I'm, I was, I'm ignorant to a lot of. Mm-hmm. I've never had this kind of conversation. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I've never even, like, I have family members that I feel like are afraid to have this kind of kind of conversation with mm-hmm. me because I ain't always been the most understanding. You feel right. Me? So it's like, you know what I mean? Like, listen, this is this is. I don't want to use the the, the um cliche ass safe space shit. You know what I'm saying? We want to ask the tough questions and discuss the tough answers. That's what we're okay. doing. Yeah. You know what but, I'm saying? Um, so yeah, let's get it. He was the only one that really accepted me for who I was. And I knew that he knew. So when he got murdered, I was just like, fuck. I was yes. Yeah. Very alone. And it was just like going back and forth with DCFS and my mom she put me out at 16 she found out I was gay called me all type of faggots and shit in front of everybody and it was just a lot for me to deal with and process like mm-hmm. how do I find my masculinity how do I become who I want to become when, yeah. when all of these fine. negative <laughs> Good, you letting it out though. Have you ever had this kind of conversation? Yeah, I don't think right. so. You don't seem yeah. like it. I'm very, I'm very. And one thing, why you get yourself together, oh, bro. Listen, shit. one thing I do want to say is we appreciate okay. you even yeah. being brave enough to come on our show and at least talk about it. Because I know this is not something that's easy yeah. to talk about. It's not. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and, you know, nigga, I got so many journals hey, listen, <laughs> because I don't trust people. Listen. Gotta, gotta, <laughs> Dead ass. I have so many journals. Turn your pain into something good, man. And that's what I've been trying. And that's what I've been doing lately. But it's just been for me. It's it's just been really like hard to be accepted. So that's why a lot of my male friends, like some of them, I was attracted to in the beginning. I'm not gonna lie. But as we built a brotherhood, that shit went away. And if any of them niggas ever came to me, I'd be like, you tripping. I'm about to go. Like what the yeah, fuck? Yeah. Like what's happening right yeah, now? Yeah, yeah. So it's just like for me the acceptance of you being my brother or you saying like this is my nigga I fuck with John you know what I'm saying yeah he gay I fuck with him though that means a lot to me because it's just like to be black and gay and to be accepted is yeah, a lot yeah. you know what I'm saying and yeah. people don't know You're already a black man exactly yeah, and people don't double, understand and gay, the, that's a double negative we already fighting an uphill yeah, battle exactly yeah, and people don't yeah. understand the weight of that so just just now I'm realizing that, that like y'all are the first person that first people I ever really shared that with. Wow. Because I don't 
I don't let people get too deep with me. I keep up a lot of barriers and shields. It takes a lot. I have to really, really trust you in order for you to get a lot of things about my life out of me because I just don't trust people. I get it. Because I've been burnt so many times. You know what I'm saying? And I'm that person that, if you tell me some shit, you be like, take this to your grave. When I die, ain't nobody gonna know that shit. (laughs) You know what I'm saying? Because... We appreciate you even being, like I said, being brave enough to come and share that because that's big, this heavy. It's some heavy shit. Very. I didn't think yeah. we was going to get this heavy. No, I didn't I think did. so either. <laughs> Here we are. I didn't think so either. <laughs> so Here we are. You know what I'm saying? But, <laughs> but my cousin, I, I still like dream about him. I still see him. I still like, like, it, it's just crazy. My cousin that passed and the one that accepted mm-hmm. me, I still see him in my dreams. So I still let me like, ask you this. What about the cousin that wasn't as understanding? What's his story right now? He still. He fuck with me, but he fuck with me from a distance. Mm. So, like... That's how my family is. A lot of them fuck with me from a distance. But it, do you think... You know, and I don't want to kind of just bring drop more, but... No, do, do you think just the family... Because it sounds like it was pretty fractured anyway. Do you think by not being that close-knit is probably part of the reason why y'all fuck with each other from a distance anyway? Partially. You know what I'm saying? It's like, it'd be different if... Let's but, say y'all work like if your 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 cousin that that we lost mm-hmm. was still around. Do you think it would still be that fractured? Well, yes, it it'll be that fractured for, for everybody the else. family and as a whole. But for me, it'll be a totally different yeah. story. I feel like yeah. if he was still alive and I was still around him, I'd be a totally different person. Was he older than you? Yes. Okay. Yeah, because he was twenty one when he got murdered, and, and I was you thirteen. 13? Oh, oh yeah. 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 So that's when, when he died, but it was just like that. That was heavy for me, but. At this point in my life, I'm just moving forward. Like, John, do you. Be you. Be who you're going to be. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. it's a lot. I, I have received a lot of ridicule, a lot of, like, people be acting like they cool with me. Then if they find out I'm gay. Because I don't just walk up to people, hey, I'm gay, I'm John. Like, yeah. the fuck? Like, I don't do stuff like that. So when people find out, some people just, like, <laughs> they, 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 they get distant. Mm-hmm. Or they, you know what I'm saying? Or they start mm-hmm. acting funny and shit. And I'm a community person. I'm very straightforward. And I'll be like, "What's wrong with you? Like you've been moving, yeah. you've been moving kind of shifty lately. What's going right. on? What you be doing? You know, what I'm saying? Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying. So it's just like I, I've been trying to continually find my peace with me, being who I am, and not allowing everyone else's voices mm-hmm. to interfere with. Yeah, because I'm, I'm sure you've been fighting with that <laughs> more. in life. You know what I'm saying? But now, turn it back to... It, it is. To roll yeah, your go ahead, bro. Have you dealt with some of those kind of similarities or situations close to what what he has? Because it doesn't seem like it's been as heavy on you. You know what I'm uh, saying? Do you think it's easier? I always felt like for guys, it is harder. Okay. Um, But I haven't had it too bad. Um, I had... Little things with my dad or my sister. Um, and I, your older sister or younger sister? She's older. Okay. About eight years. Okay. Um, yeah. So what they be like, shot or like, what the fuck? Uh, um, I know my dad, I had tried to bring my first girlfriend to him just to me. Just on, you know. How old were you? I think I was about 17, 18. Right, when you were... Were you new? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And when I brought her, it was like, he had... He didn't have a poker face. You could just tell. He was just like, what the fuck? Mm. Where are you in the family? How many siblings you got? Um, so I have three with my mom and two... Uh, with my dad and with your father do we, how many like what's well, that, that's brothers? a whole nother conversation but they're they younger okay. so they they cool it's just my at that I'm t- so at that time were you like his only girl or uh no okay um or his oldest girl right okay yeah, his yeah. first baby girl yeah, yeah. Uh, okay yeah. that's what I was trying to just see where you were in his yeah in his mind so yeah. alright keep going um, so over time, I started to distance myself from. Oh, right, 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 right. <laughs> no, um, no, I had to distance myself from a lot of my family members because they didn't accept it, mm-hmm. you know. And being 17, 18, you know, 
Like if I was bringing a dude home, it'd be it'd be fine. Right. You know what I'm saying? But bringing right. a girl home, it's kind of yeah. like whoa, whoa, whoa! I can't hold her hand Man, or, or do you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, shit like that, I have base, to base, you know yeah, yeah. do like, like this. I did. I, I couldn't friends. fuck with that. And then my sister, um, I would say she kind of raised me. Okay. So the she, eight I, year old, the one that's eight years older, right? Okay. So I feel like she took it the hardest. But the crazy thing is, she has a gay friend. A guy, so it's just like. How do you not understand? Exactly. Right. So I remember one day she was like, um, it was me, her, and my brother, and she was like, um, so what y'all bumping coochies and shit? I'm like, what bitch, what the fuck you think we doing? You know what I'm saying? I, like, that's disrespectful. That's, 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 what you said? Was she drunk when she asked you like that? No. <laughs> <laughs> it did sound like she was lit. <laughs> The way you said it, it's like she was lit. <laughs> no, no. But at, at the time, I didn't have. Um, I've heard that a lot. <laughs> like, I might have seen that. That's another story. Right. <laughs> um, I wasn't confident within myself to tell her, like, yeah. don't worry about what I'm doing. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? I'm still your sister at the end of the day. You know, I'm not questioning you for having five kids. You're not married. Right. You're dealing with right. your mom. Like, I'm not questioning I'm you. Right. No, it's, See, not. Know. it's crazy. It's crazy. Right. Okay. No, 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 no. I no, no. I I you know, no. Yeah, All yeah. my nieces, my nephew, by one guy. <laughs> okay. You know what I'm Let me stop. But you could have been in her head, though. You could have been in her head if you wanted to. So it was it was rough for me because we were so tight, and then once I got older, it was just like I can't yeah go ahead. Yeah. I, I I can't fuck with you, mm -hmm. you know, because that hurt me the most, and yes. I didn't have anybody to talk to, Two. so it's hard. You know, all I can do is talk to my friends, but it's like I need somebody right. that's older mm -hmm. who that is understanding yeah, and, and shit like look, that. That you look for them for their approval. Yeah. yeah. It's, you know, you know, someone that can it. encourage you too. Exactly. So all the girls that I've brought home, she just, they would tell me they couldn't feel a vibe. Mm -hmm. So it was just like, what's your problem? You know? Mm -hmm. So even till this day, we not, we not close, yeah. but, um, how do you it's feel about rough. that? Y'all not. It it hurts, but I know now that it is what it is. You Big can't nice. please you Everybody. can't please everybody. Everybody. And it's fine because I love me. Mm -hmm. I love who I am. You're happy with who and you are. And I'm I'm happy. I'm at peace with who I am. I mean, it still hurts because my dad. I still feel like a little girl. You know what I mean? Yeah, so yeah. I'm not as eager to be like, hey, dad, I got a new girlfriend. You know what I mean? Right. So it just, I kind of feel like I still got to, you know, yeah. ease it on yeah. him. But when I spoke with my uncle, he was like, it is what it is. Mm -hmm. You know, so. Um, That's how I feel about it. Yeah. yeah. It, is what it, is. it is what it is. I mean, I'm going to be perfectly honest with you. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's say my son, let's say my son came to me and said he was gay. Would I be disappointed? Yes. Yeah. But would I? Shut him out? Shut him out? Nah. I couldn't do that. But, you know, it's like, what can you do? Yeah. You can't, yeah. like, if somebody, if somebody comes and say they're gay, you can't, like, yeah. Whoop it out of them. You right. can't. Yeah. You can't beat them. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, you can't. It's not. You can't. And, and, and that's that's one thing. So I'm a father. I have four children, right? I learned a long time ago. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. I know, I was like, like, no, because <laughs> mentally, mentally I said something, but I didn't say it, I caught myself. <laughs> so, so look, right, one of those things that I learned is that regardless of gay or straight, kids going to do what the fuck they want. Period. Yeah. You dig what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. No, they, and it's, and you have to just do the best that you can and hope for the best. You show them everything you can, yeah. and, mm -hmm. and it is mm -hmm. what it is. You want to make sure they smart, they healthy, mm -hmm. and they happy. Yeah. You dig what I'm saying? But Jeff, I want to ask you. What's up? Why would you be disappointed? Because I there. always felt like, you know, like y'all say, y'all was raised in church. Mm -hmm. You know, you always, 
let's say you go about the Bible, right? Mm-hmm. It's supposed Quote to be quote unquote. Because because that could be bullshit too. Mm-hmm. I yeah. hope y'all don't hate me for saying that, but um, I don't. A man yeah, supposed to be with a woman. That's what it was real. Adam and Eve. Adam I agree Eve, with that too. Whatever. Whatever. Thank you. But like I said, I will. Okay. Like if you if I first hear it. I mean, I don't know. I think that'll be a natural reaction. Shock for you. Like, what are you talking about? But at the same time, it's something you gotta you gonna have to get over. It. Because what mm-hmm. if, yeah. if 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 your son or daughter is gay, ain't shit you can do about it. Nothing you can yeah. do about it. Ain't yeah. nothing you can nothing do about it. You, yeah. you know what I'm saying? You ain't know. There's nothing you can do about it. <laughs> right. Ain't, nothing. ain't nothing you can do about it. And mm-hmm. I'm not finna abandon my kid. Exactly. Yeah. The reason right. at all. Now I would say I would be disappointed if my children said that they were when it comes to procreation. Are you still mm. gonna try and have children? Mm. You feel me? Are you mm. still gonna try and push this family? I think Are you gonna not. still to me yeah. I say it all the time. I probably said on two or three of these episodes. The best thing that you can do as black people is get with a black woman. Build a black family. Mm. Get with a black man if you want to get with a black woman. Right. Have some black mm. kids and push this shit forward. Oh, yeah, Whatever yeah. you like, that's that's, yeah. on you. that's on you. But yeah. what are we gonna yeah. do? You feel me? You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? If you're good people, you wanna push this family, push us forward, procreate. You know what I'm saying? So that's what would bother me. Okay. Now, let's say if y'all like, yo, we gonna have kids. You dig what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. That's different to me. You dig what I'm saying? Oh yeah. That's different. Yeah. But cause then push that shit forward. You did? Right. But it also puts a you know a, a you know, it's a little spin on it too, because mm-hmm. it's like, well if every look, if 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 everybody gay you know what I'm saying? We're going to be slowing down on numbers. We got to put these kids out here. You know what I'm saying? We got to keep... Yeah. We got to keep yeah. getting these numbers up. But you know what? For, you know what it, yeah. for me, I feel like most fathers are disappointed with their sons they gave. They just like a flamboyant fact. Like, just super that's gay. True. Oh, yeah. Like, that would just like that's destroy true. a but, man. But because I'm it's saying just like, like, that's, Okay, so how are you gay, though? Like, huh? to me, huh? I'm saying like, to me, it's like if you're gay, I'm not from <laughs> sometimes you play a boy. Listen, I'm gonna no, keep it real, and no, I don't want to listen. No. I'm, I'm gonna keep it real, and I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say it this way. I hope I don't offend <laughs> anybody. I'm not trying like, to offend. Listen, no, a gay man, like a gay man, and a sissy is different to me. Mm-hmm. I know mm-hmm. straight ass sissies. You feel yeah, me? Yeah, okay, like, okay, like, okay. Like, you know what I'm saying? That, that, that is like, different. Like, like, wait, John, you, like, wait, wait, when you say straight sissy, what do you mean? Yeah, like, Super what Super flamboyant, like, bro. Yes, you, you okay, know what I'm saying? Like, John. Like, John, what do you consider People don't know. People don't know. I consider myself. I consider myself uh, a male. No, no, <laughs> no. Do no. no. <laughs> well, you consider yourself flamboyant? No. Okay, so, so no, what's the definition no. of flamboyant? I have my mannerisms, is, but I don't consider myself flamboyant. Flamboyant is like, listen, stop being more feminine than a woman. Yes. You okay. know what I'm saying? That, that's that's the, that will piss me off and, and, if my son act like that. And when I like, say boy, stuff like this, people think I'm crazy. Bro, listen, people don't know John Gay until he got them and either tell them or, or they get lit. Well, that makes me think about the first time I met him. Talk about it. Okay. It was Chi Chi's uh, hip hop party. It was a hip hop party. Yeah, 90s, 90s party. Oh, yeah, I remember that party. I remember so, that party. <laughs> yeah, they remember that. Yeah, 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 he got into it with the DJ. That nigga tried to leave early. I was like, hold on, baby. That's another time. Like, they're long. I think she previously told me she had a friend that was gay. But you ain't never met But I don't care. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. You know what I'm saying? So, I met you. Oh, Who is this big? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Nigga, right? Hey, solid head. Who is this? This dude coming in. <laughs> yeah, I'm on Jack shirt. and shit. <laughs> yo, what's up, bro? But um, when I, she didn't, she still didn't say, yo, that's, that's John. That's John. That's what I'm talking about. about. Yeah. Nah, she didn't do that. What made me know, what made me figure it out, Beyonce came. Oh. <laughs> I'm not a beehive person, but if she just <laughs> she hit a nerve. The stereo. She hit a nerve. She, <laughs> had, she definitely hit a nerve. Like you say, you a dancer. Yes. <laughs> so like That's Beyonce not, came on, no. you hit the dance floor, and I and I was I was sitting at the uh, like they had like little bar yeah. thing stand or whatever, and I, I turn around. <laughs> <laughs> and John was going crazy. 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 Like, I remember okay, that. That's him. That's, 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 that's the right, friend. Right, right, right. 
Well, yeah, like you say, John, you don't you don't come off like you know that. What I'm like, like that. I don't because I feel like it didn't it. it I don't even you, know if this is no, the word. You mentioned it earlier. You pride yourself in being a man. You're not trying yes. to be it. You know what I'm saying? Yes. yes. I feel like that's like demasculating me. I don't even know if that's a word, but yeah. if, I feel like that's what it is. Like, if I go out here and I'm just like, yes, bitch, yes, honey, oh, and doing all that yeah, goofy yeah, shit, yeah, yeah. like, <laughs> no. Like, that shit is doing yeah, too much. That like, should be hilarious, though. It, 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 it be hilarious, but it upsets <laughs> me. Yeah. Like, listen, we went out it the other night. Me. We went out to, uh, the other night with the wives, and we was at this, at this, uh, this bar and shit. And like, buddy uh, ass, it was like he was trying to get a reaction. Mm-hmm. Right? Like, bro, yeah. we he was just like, 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 like our table was right here, y'all table right there. I he just, was flouncing around yeah, and going yeah, like, bro, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, bro yeah. we don't even give a fuck. Man. Right. Yeah, like, yeah, this, ain't that, this ain't that yeah. table. We don't this care. This ain't that type of party. You feel me? I'm like, like straight forward with it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's like, bro, we, look. Stuff like that is, it upsets me when I see when I see men like that do stuff like that, mm-hmm. because it's just like you're so angry at these women and you calling them bitches and you mad at them, but you're trying to beat them. You know what? It, like I'm so confused. Like how are you trying to like degrade this woman when you want to be her? You want to carry a baby. You want to look like her. You want mm-hmm. her breast. You want her pussy. You want all of these things. You know what? It's so like, why are you so like yeah, extra. extra? Like that? That I don't. You know what it feel like to me? It rubs me the wrong way. You know how you go somewhere and you got a nigga being a nigga? You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Overdoing. Yeah. You be feeling yeah, like, yeah. what the yeah. fuck are you doing, fam? Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Is that, is that yeah. the yeah. shit yeah. kind of feeling? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's that kind of feeling. It's sit just your like ass down. You somewhere. Know what I'm Please. Like, like the woman walking in the goddamn store in house shoes at 3 o'clock. Like, oh, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? You just feel yeah. embarrassed. Or remember the grocery yeah. store with the bonnet. With the bonnet on. It's that. With the bonnet. in his head. Why are you making us look bad? That's how I feel. The, the the question I wanted to to know though, like mm-hmm. this is for both, both guys. Mm-hmm. Yes. yes. Do you believe you're bored, gay? Because I mean, it's tough. It's tough. I need to know. I need to know. I need to know this because I'm a firm believer that you're not bored, gay. And I'm, I want I want I want somebody to to to, to enlighten me. Okay. If I want yeah. yeah. I need some information, and I've always thought that uh, being being gay is more so an action. Mm. Okay. You, when you say action, do you mean action as in choice? Choice. Or action? Okay. Mm. Like I, I I always thought like you choose to be. I don't. I never thought that you that, mm. that you're gay. So that's but, why but that's why we're here. This is we're, why we're here. But okay, I feel okay, like if okay. we tried it already, then I don't know. I well, so I'm I'm iffy with too. it, but I'm I feel like too. maybe we are because Bored? yeah, because okay. we we tried it. Mm. Well, I always because so so that makes me think if you're bored, then I think it will be way more people that are, that are gay. Trust but it probably lot. is. So what I'm saying, we about now. We feel like you know, we feel like oh, it's so everywhere now. Maybe motherfuckers just getting more comfortable with yeah. being free with it. No, yeah. what's happening now? I feel mm-hmm. that people are wearing gay like a handbag. Like it's a new coach bag or it's a new product person. Uh, like I don't feel like, like I feel like a lot of people jumping on the civil rights movement. Yes, and stairs, exactly. And I feel like a lot of people are just jumping on a bandwagon. Mm-hmm. They're not really. This isn't really who they are. They're doing it because it's cool. Mm-hmm. They're doing it because it's it. Like they're. It's not. You haven't dealt with the struggles. You haven't dealt yeah. with being inside of your head about who you are and what you're mm-hmm. doing and who you're with and who you're loving, who you're laying next to. Mm-hmm. I feel like it's more so of like, oh, bitch, I'm gay today. <laughs> type of thing. <laughs> That's how I feel. So you know what I'm saying? So y'all both mentioned very young, right? Mm-hmm. Now, do you think that, because um, I tell people, I don't know. When you say born take, gay? Yeah, take it this way. <laughs> if y'all like, 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 real <laughs> If you like pussy like I do, you feel me? Like if you get the same feeling, maybe you are born like that. Yeah. You feel me? Because mm-hmm. I don't yeah. like like listen. I heard look, my cousin told me last night. He said his homie told him that she ain't had sex with her husband since May of twenty twenty. 
No. What? No way. You heard what I said, right? Ain't no way. Her listen, husband. I don't believe that. Listen, right? Her Look. husband. Wow. Hey. I don't believe that. Listen. I mean, maybe she gets I'm just saying. Else. Now, you know, it's people that say that when you get married after a certain while. I'm going to tell you. My husband's going to be on a two, two week time clock in my, in my house. <laughs> listen. Now, let me buy. By a certain time frame, four days, I'm looking at the clock like, yo, something wrong? We need, we beefing up. What's up? Like, I ain't going no two nothing. Two years, two months, two weeks. No, nah, so. Not if we in the same house. No, nah, I'm not doing it. That's the, so that's I'm just wondering, like, and so if it's that big of a, a deal mm-hmm. to you, mm-hmm. like it is to me, mm-hmm. maybe you mm-hmm. are born like that. Maybe you can't control. You feel me? Like, yeah. maybe. But also, y'all both have said some things. Well, you didn't say so as much. But mm-hmm. you also said some things in your youth that kind of I feel like pushed it, pushed it, or at least. But when I knew, opened I knew. that door. When, when I, I knew, you knew. When I knew, I knew. I'm not gonna say when I was when I was born. I fucking came out with a rainbow. Right, 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 I came right, out with right. a rainbow diaper. Like yeah, man, <laughs> this is yeah, me. Crazy. Uh, <laughs> that's not what it was. I just feel like once I. When you when you young you you, you you your mind is like a sponge you grab onto right. all type of yeah. shit you grab onto everything sexuality yeah. all of these yeah. things yeah. and at that age mm-hmm. my mom like used to like date different men when my dad was in jail and shit and she used to have different men come over and shit now and so, ask, did you see her interaction with them and think you know what I'm saying did no you, I just saw the dude and I'm like damn he cute in my head like wow. that. okay. Six, seven years old, like, damn, he fine. Mm-hmm. Okay, mom. Yeah. Like, in my head, this is what I'm saying. Now, See, yeah, now listen, shit you kind of... But you also said you grew up around in a, in a female yeah. dominated yeah. household. Yeah. So, do you think maybe when you were four or five, yeah. you would sit around with them and hear them say that about me? No. You wouldn't hear them... Talk, talk about, about me, because no? okay. when, when I was when I was like six, seven, we was living with my grandma. My grandma went on that. She was like really religious, taking us to church every yeah. every day of the week. She wasn't like my sister and them. When they were not, if they was doing anything, they was doing it under her nose because she wasn't. Did your me. moms ever talk about men like who's no, attractive not and in front of me. like that? Okay, not in front of me. She would talk to my older sister about stuff like that, but she would never. Would you? Say but would you me. hear it? You wouldn't. You just say you wouldn't even be. Uh-uh. She would say it in front of you. That's okay. what I'm saying. Like when I saw when I saw a, an attractive man, like even like I said when I was younger, you I knew. I didn't want I didn't want to be around the ugly boys. Gotcha. Mm-hmm. I knew that. Like I knew it. And, when I, and, and even as a and even as six seven years old, seeing the men that my mom was dating, I'd be like, damn, he fine. Okay, he mm-hmm. cute. You know what I'm saying? Like mm-hmm. it was just it was just that. But I don't I don't I wouldn't say that I was. 100% born that way because when you born you born you born you, you don't but, know anything but until we're, but we are also like sexualized as babies yes blue is for boys pink is for girls facts yeah. and that's yellow super is neutral right that's super fact you know what I'm saying Wait, so yeah. yes. I don't know nothing about no yellow. No, yellow, yellow, yellow is like what you got a baby shower when they don't know what the sex is. Yeah. So you, you know, know what I'm saying? So yellow or white. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, so, and. But do you think can't... that's a problem? I mean. It's the system. Think it is what it is. It's yeah, the system. Yeah, I, yeah. It's the system. And I say it's the system is because it's like, when I say it's the system, it's the fact that, like she just pointed out, Boys get blue, girls get pink. Yeah. Go to, you're gonna go to school. You're gonna get a job. Mm-hmm. You're gonna get married. You're gonna have kids. You're gonna buy a house. You're it's gonna, the program. It's the program. Yeah. So yeah. It's the system, it's changed, right? It, it I mean, but I be, feel like it is being changed slowly yeah. but surely. Yeah, is, yeah you bro. know what I'm saying, like slowly but surely. The, but is it, they changing think, a lot of shit, right? But do you think that's for the betterment of people? I mean, be, for people like y'all, and I, when I say like, well, I should say us. For people like us, because we're, y'all doing different things, you you all are on like an entrepreneurial path. Like y'all creating something for yourself. Y'all not falling into the lines of the system. Like y'all not going to the nine to five, the corporate business, and doing everything. Well, you're doing what you got to do for that for right now. Right. Mm-hmm. But you're on a path to become greater than that. You're going to be your own boss. So it's just like, for me, <laughs> that's when I say that, and that's what I mean. Like, those are the trends that I'm trying to say, and that's why I used to be mm-hmm. mad at my mom because she, when I was, I loved dancing. Like dancing was my shit growing up, and she didn't invest in that for me, and I was mad at her because she told me I wasn't gonna never be shit with it, mm-hmm. and she was like, "Oh, you need to go out and get a job and help me with these bills." And I got a job, and I, I got caught up in a corporate system, and I've been See, unhappy. Man. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like, 
Please, y'all, don't get, please don't get offended off this question, bro. Was your mom a crackhead? Later on. When I became 17, 18, yeah, when I was in high school. So it sounds crackhead. like it sounds like a lot of the trauma that you experienced was due to her not being happy with mm-hmm. us. You know yeah, what I'm she saying? Projected. And she projected that on you. Yeah. So that, that pain, <coughs> it comes through. It's tricky. You know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? That's, yeah. Yeah. that's, that's, supposed, that's right. supposed to be the first woman you love. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and, and, and that's how I looked at it. Like, you're my mother. You're supposed to guide me. You're supposed to show me how to, like, the you, things that I learned in my life without them was things that they were supposed to teach me. Mm-hmm. How to love myself? How not to let nobody treat me like shit? How not to? How how so, to let my voice be heard? So, you know what I'm saying? So look at this. Tell me, what was your mother's relationship with your grandma? Mm-hmm. Oh, my mom, my mom is still mm-hmm. fucked up. That's what I'm saying. So what was grandma like? You know what I mean? <laughs> your mom. Uh, so, I'm so just being one hundred. It's still fucked tra- up. Like she can only show you what she learned. Mm-hmm. You know that's, what I'm saying? But you know what? I feel like that's true to a certain degree. Okay. And I'm gonna tell you why I feel like that's true to a certain degree because. As an individual, if you want to educate yourself, if you want to be better, if you want to do better, you can do that. And there are so many sources out here for you to do that. The library has been in existence for the, for the longest. Like, if you wanted to be a better mother, if you wanted to be a better person towards us, yeah. you could have done that. Like, there's no... Mm-hmm. And, that, yeah. and, and that's when I had to let go of a lot of shit mm-hmm. and forgive them. Y'all was young. Y'all had us when y'all was 19, 20. Yeah. Like, and so, and that's and that's something that I always look at. You know what I'm saying? I tell people all the time, like, I got a, one of my best friends. You know what I'm saying? He um got into a relationship with a woman, right? You know what I'm saying? Love her to death. Everything was perfect. Got married, and then the shit fell off. All mm. kind of all of a sudden, all of a sudden, right? And then when you look back at it, I tell him, look at her relationship with her mother. You know what I'm saying? What was that like? You dig what I'm saying? Yeah. It's the saying that people that I say all the time. When you are raised on survival versus love, mm. it's it's different. It's definitely survival. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, and that's yeah. what, so it's harder to to never you know, thought about it that way. To, to change that. You know what I'm saying? I never so, thought about it that way. And so thinking about it that now and just listening to that statement, how do you think you are in your relationship since? With my mother? No. Relationships. How you treat People, whoever you with, you know what oh, I'm saying? Oh, like, I have grown a lot because when I was living in Kentucky, I went to Kentucky to find myself. Mm-hmm. I just left. I didn't have no money. I didn't have no job. I just left. Cold mm-hmm. Turkey. Why Cold Kentucky? Turkey. Huh? Why Kentucky? Because my ex. Whiskey? I had went and. <laughs> and that's why I would have went. Bourbon, yeah, that's my <laughs> shit. Bourbon. No, but I went. Um, my ex, at the time I was with somebody, his whole family moved down there. He asked me to come down there with him. I was like, okay, cool. We'll do this. I'll, okay, I'll give it a chance. Yeah. So I went. He started getting shifty, so I came back to Chicago. Damn. And when I went back on my own, it was for me. Mm-hmm. I was soul searching, finding out what I wanted to do in my life. What do I want to be? I need to fix myself. I need to let a lot of shit go because I was angry. Mm-hmm. And I didn't know why. I was still like jovial and still he the same personality. Yeah, I was in I was in Kentucky for four years. Louisville, I, yeah, Louisville, Louisville. Yeah, I was yeah, in there. Right. Louisville, Louisville. Yeah. Louisville. <laughs> wait, wait, I was in Louisville. Louisville. Make sure From, uh, I was right. there 2008 to 2012. Okay. I was there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You was in Louisville. I was there from 07 to, two, to two, 2010. Yeah, I was there from 2008 to 2012. That's, that's crazy. And, <laughs> and that's exactly that's crazy. <laughs> he married my best friend. Like that's crazy. Yeah, but I was I was trying to find myself. And that's what that was all about. And that's when I started learning, John, you got to let this go. You can't hold on to this. You can't always think that somebody out to get you. You can't always think that people on bullshit because that's not always the case. Did you find did shit you happened. You found yourself? I, yeah, I did. Yeah. I, found, I found a lot of myself in Kentucky. And I was able to let either. a lot go. That's how I'm able to have a relationship I have with my mom. Now, me and my mom, cool. Mm-hmm. Right? Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. That was the, that was the oh, reason God. I was hey, able to. Yeah. 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 I wasn't Gross. expecting Gross. you to say that. No, <laughs> no, that's, that's the reason <laughs> why I'm able to have that relationship. Because yeah. I had to forgive her. Mm-hmm. I had to realize, like, I'm an adult now. I've had adult experiences. I've lived an adult life. I mm-hmm. understand what it was like for you to have children. That's enough mm-hmm. with just me by my fucking yeah, self. Yeah, yeah. Like, for you to have three kids and trying to like still 
make a living for us, keep food in our mouth, put clothes on our backs, send us to school, do you know what I'm saying? Exactly. So I I told her like one day I just told her, I'm like, Mom, I love you, I forgive you for everything that you did. I know that you probably didn't know where to go or how to do what you needed to do, but I appreciate you being there for us. Like you did what you could. could. And I appreciate that. And, and she fucking broke out of tears. She started crying. She's like, I love you so much because I I I can't hold on to that. It wasn't doing nothing for me. Yeah. It was hurting you. It was hurting me. Yeah. Like I had to let that shit go. And since then I've been So bro, what yeah. you like, <laughs> No, 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 no. 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 I'm so intrigued. <laughs> 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 hey, bro. She sounds hey, so intrigued. It's so shit. <laughs> So you sat here and you talked about your dad. But you, I don't you have a relationship said, with my mom right now. Yeah, that, that's what I was going to get into. Okay. Like, no. You haven't said it, anything about your Is it based on, on what we talking about? It's, thing? Or that's it's kinda, some other okay. shit okay. going Different on um, that I, I can't, I can't yeah, fuck yeah, with. Yeah. Okay, well, if you can't talk about that, could you talk about her reaction to finding out? Um, She was... Now, she was okay. That, that was okay. I was... That's all I needed at the time was my mom, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, but again, like <laughs> who I am yeah. as a person is my dad, which is 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 crazy <laughs> because I um come on dang how I want to say it um he taught me so much, and though he didn't live with us it felt like he was still in my household. Mm, And a lot of the times, a lot of fathers who don't live with their kids aren't involved. Mm -hmm. But my dad was at every game I had. He did what he had to do as a father. My mom, not so much, which is crazy, but I wonder if because the relationship didn't work with them, Mm-hmm. Is why she kept her distance. distance. But how old was? Do you think she may have? <clears throat> no, go ahead, go ahead. Do you think she may have? How can I say? Resented the closeness you and your father had. But and it's resented weird because. That is a good question. From the outside looking in, you wouldn't even think me and him are close. Well, I mean, but we are close, know, right? but for me, he is like. My everything, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. So even though I'm, I'm just like him. I don't show it all the time, mm-hmm. you know. Um, but it wasn't until I got older my dad explained what happened. Mm. So he cheated on my mom, mm. and they were together for ten years. My dad is ten years younger than my mom, so he didn't think that um, my mom would take him back. So. I was six when this happened. He married when I was six. Mm -hmm. So maybe it was some resentment. Mm -hmm. Because it's like, you've been with me for 10 years. You didn't marry me. (laughs) But you ran off to this other woman. And now they've been married since I was six. Um, So, yeah, it's it's, it's rough. But, again, even with, like John said, my mom didn't show me love. It wasn't no, okay, here are your pads. Let me teach you about your period. Let me teach you about boys. Like, it was none of that shit. Mm-hmm. You know, so I had to learn from friends, from just being around other people. Mm-hmm. I never had that relationship with my mom. Mm-hmm. Now, I mean, I don't, I know he's talking about zodiac signs and shit like that. So her <laughs> birthday's in April. Big Mike say, you know, <laughs> All right. Mike say her, her birthday is in April. <laughs> April uh, 27th so that love it, I maybe it is hard for her to show mm-hmm. love to me mm-hmm. you know? it is the same thing I asked her mm-hmm. what was her relationship like with her mom until recently I've really understood that she probably didn't have a good relationship with her mom because so, it was like I think 10 of them mm-hmm. so I mean, Sharon, you know, love that, that, you know, them a lot of fucking kids. So trying to share that equally is is, is rough. Mm -hmm. And even the relationship with my mom and her siblings is just tarnished right now. So um, I don't feel like 
she can show that love because you know, ever since I was little my dad anytime we would get on the phone he would anytime we get off the phone he would say I love you mm -hmm. my mom never wow. never yeah. not a hug not a yeah it's just I, it. I don't know if yeah. it's just an older That's that black I think I think woman thing <laughs> I think it's personally how <laughs> she probably never heard it yeah. That's that's just what I think. She yeah. probably never heard it like that. Mm -hmm. So she probably didn't think that was something that was important to do. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's just one of those things like survival yeah. versus love. You know what I'm yeah. saying? How you raise, I think that always, you know, plays a part into what you put out there. Mm -hmm. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Unless you change it. Yeah, because recently I'm like in my immediate family we have some tough shit going on yeah. and of course, I'm not siding with my mom, but I text her like, hey, despite what's going on, I love you. Mm -hmm. Not nothing. a text, nothing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, that's kind of like, it's like, dude, what the fuck? Right. You know, it's, it's some people. Look, one thing that, you know, I'm always, I always talk about the Godfather, you know what I'm saying? Listen, mm -hmm. therapy is real. And one thing that us as black folks that we do avoid is mm -hmm. there you know what I'm saying mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you need an opportunity to go talk to somebody to at least be a mediator yeah. you know what I'm saying yeah. I'm gonna keep it real yeah. I learned so much tonight I feel yeah. I, I'm in a much better position you know what I'm yeah. saying yeah. to yeah. just be more understanding more you know what I'm saying these are yeah. questions that I want to know because like I said I haven't always been the most understanding mm -hmm. I haven't always been mm -hmm. the most open minded mm -hmm. you know right. what I'm saying so it's yeah. like y'all help me understand like we all got some work we can do yeah. You know what I'm saying? We can yeah. all be better. We can all, you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> but it's all about. Level, you know but I feel like it, it takes a lot for people to just put their ego aside. Yeah. A lot of people yeah. can't put their ego aside. Yeah. A lot of people can't humble themselves just to try to be empathetic towards another human being. And that's one thing that, like, I wear my heart on my sleeve. If I fuck with you, I fuck with you. If I don't, I don't. It's just mm -hmm. that simple. So it's just like for me, if I'm mad at you, you're going to see it. Yep. If yeah. I ain't fucking with you, you gonna feel it. Like, <laughs> yeah. you know what I'm saying? It's, I'm not gonna, yeah. Yeah. I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. it ain't gonna yeah. be no fucking fake shit. You know yeah. what I'm saying? But I really appreciate y'all for like bringing us on here and talking about this because we I've never really, I've never talked to anybody about it. And a lot of people, and now have, we talking to the world. Check us you out. know what I'm saying? <laughs> and a lot of people have a no lot of misconceptions no about <laughs> no about that. about yeah. us. Yeah. They have a lot yeah. of misconceptions. Like yeah. a lot of niggas don't know. Like. Just because I'm gay don't mean I don't have a type. Nigga, you're not it. Just because you have a penis. <laughs> it's just like, Tell just because you have a penis, you think I'm at you? No, that's right. not the situation. <laughs> There's a lot of things that add up to that swagger. What your whole personality, like this shit, Mike was talking about earlier, like when niggas just be like, man, why did I spin up? Like, that's goofy shit. Like, you yeah. a goofy nigga. Like, yeah, hey. A goofy Come on, is a goofy, you straight or gay. That's goofy. <laughs> Point blank. You know what I mean? Y'all know, know what it is, man. Hey, look, oh, you yeah. always going to be my sister. Yeah, you are hey. Since day one. I know. Man, man, yeah. You know, we, no. might not, we might not talk every day, but it don't matter. It don't matter. You know what I'm saying? You pick up, when y'all do know. talk, you pick up like exactly. you never left off. Yeah. Exactly. You nah, know, I, you I know, love it. You know how our relationship I know. is. I know. I know. You know, John, I know. Hey, John, you know it's been it's been nothing since but day one. Yeah, it's nothing but love. So, and hey, real talk, yeah. we all been rocking. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I met you a minute ago. <laughs> so, you know, we done ran into each other a few times at the parties. Because we all family, y'all. Yeah. Just so y'all know, we all family. Big and facts. we got two new members of the Facts and Law family right here, yes, baby. Yes, Shout yes, out yes, John and Ro. Yes, Listen, yes, hey. it's, been a, it's been a great time. Yes. Check it out. You know, if you're new to the podcast, please subscribe to the channel. It don't it don't cost nothing to share. It don't cost nothing to you know support the channel. We not ask yeah, free baby. money is free. <laughs> Please subscribe. That's all we asking. <laughs> Facts and law episode five. You are a wrap. I know. I want to. Life is good. It's okay. I'm trying to tell okay. you. Hey. <laughs>